Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to create our first Microsoft Flow from scratch and then we're going to test it. In order to get started, you need to go to the Flow web app and that's at flow.microsoft.com. And when you land on the home page, you're going to see a template search. Up the top here, you can type in the name of the app that you want to use in your Flow. In my case, it's Outlook. I'm going to choose search button and it's going to take me to all the flows that have Outlook in them. And you can see I've got a list of templates down here. I'm going to use this template here and it's called Save Office 365 Email Attachments to OneDrive for Business. So I choose the template. It takes me through to this profile page where I can choose the Use Template button. The first thing it needs me to do is log in. So you need to either sign up or sign in at this stage. You can't use Flow without a Microsoft account. So that can be Office 365, Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, whatever you've got, but you have to have one. I already have an Office 365 account I want to use here. So I'm going to click on the sign in link, which is going to take me to a sign in page. And I'm going to sign in. And if you've never used Flow before, it just prompts you to choose a region and then get started. Now it should take you back to the profile page. You should see at the bottom here how the Flow is going to connect to both of those apps. So we've got Outlook and OneDrive and it's going to connect as that same account, the Office 365 account that I used to log in for both of those apps. So when I'm happy that the connections have been made, I can check the permissions if I want to, to just check what flow is going to have access to and then I can create the flow. Okay, so it will now take me through to the flow profile page. You can see the connections up here on the right. You can see which apps here are being used by the flow down here on the left. I choose the little arrow in the top left here. It will take me back and list my flows of which I only have one. It's the first time I've used it and here it is. So to test the flow, I'm going to wait to receive an email and see if the attachment from that email is saved to my OneDrive or not. To test this flow, I sent an email from Megan with an attachment called CE Annual Report and it's a Word doc. So you can see the email in the inbox of Alex here. So I had to log in as Megan and do that. What will happen is the flow will see that the new email has arrived see it's got an attachment and then start doing the things that I asked it to do. And the result is this. So when I go to OneDrive, I will see a new folder called email attachments from flow. And when I click in it, you'll see there's a copy of the CE annual report. So it's taken that attachment, put it into this new folder called email attachments from flow, and it will create that folder for you. You don't have to do that. This flow seems to be running. Okay. Now if we wanted to check, how the flows run, or if there are any problems and we wanted to troubleshoot, you can always go back to flow, which I've got up in a tab here. And from the flow profile page, you can see the run history. And you can see every time this flow has run so far, it's been successful. So if I click into one of these, you can see what happened. If there are any problems, you'd see a little red cross up here in the top right hand corner. If it's successful, then you'll see a tick. If you click into either of these blocks, you can see a bunch of information about what happened. And you can see also here that it's chosen this folder path and this file name. So you can see why it created that folder for me. So that is creating your first flow from scratch. We used a template, so we didn't have to do any configuration and we tested the flow by sending an email and we watched it create the folder and add the attachment to it. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe if you think it was and let us know what you think in the comments.